<clears throat> Welcome back everybody. Uh, out here in the forest again. Decided, uh, I mean we are on lockdown but they said you can get out and hike so ain't nobody out here. Uh, I've been wanting to find a train tracks uh, with no trees growing through them. Uh, plan is to sit down low and get a uh, picture. Never know if it'll turn out but that's what I envisioned. I'm just gonna wander the tracks a little bit see you know where the best position is. of a composition except keeping them right in the center. But I'll see what they got. Let's see how long they stay clear. I don't think for too long. It looks like this might be the only stretch. All right. Find something. Uh, I will turn the camera back on. After wandering up and down, uh, I was thinking of trying that end. The tracks are a little higher. Uh, I was going to maybe put a, a connection with all the bolts. Uh, too many uh, motorcycle dig marks. They're not supposed to be back here, but I uh, settled on over here. I was going to try from back here. I'll show you why I didn't. Uh, trees were cut and I just thought it would look you know too unnatural because I move up to the trees and I was going to try putting one track in the center that one comes out eh, about mid frame and I tried low but uh, the tracks spread out real wide and uh, don't start at the bottom so I'm gonna set up right here I'm gonna get up high enough where the uh, the two tracks start in from the bottom corners maybe just in a little bit not quite all the way in the corner and I'll just use that 45 uh, depending on what it looks like on the ground glass maybe I'll shorten it up a little bit to kind of blare it in instead of being in focus all the way through I'll see what looks better when I'm under the hood. All right, let me get set up. Now hopefully the uh Sun stays behind the trees. See if I can get my glare. I have a little bit of dappled light by the time I'm set up on the tracks, looks like. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, one shot in the bag. Uh, sun's out there. I tried a vertical composition, uh, just too much sky, so I turned it horizontal, eliminate all the sky. Uh, I turned it this way, so the sun wasn't shining into the uh, where I pulled the dark slide out. Uh, you never know when you're going to get a light leak. Uh, hopefully, I was able to block enough. Uh, glare off the lens. Uh, it was 14 second exposure. Uh, metered in at 8 seconds. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot of range. Uh, about one stop range in the whole scene. So I averaged it out between the two. It was 8 seconds at f45. Reciprocity failure put it at 14. Alright, let's wrap it up and uh, head to the dark room and see what we get. I'll see you there. All right, here we are, back in the dark room. Uh, let's get our chemicals mixed up, get the red light on, and uh, start off with a contact sheet. Or maybe I'll skip that and uh, go straight to a, uh, a test strip, because uh, I plan to print it anyway. some tea. Uh, tired of coffee at this moment. Good stuff. I uh, believe it's P&G. Uh, uh, seems to be uh, very tasty. All right, let's get our chemicals going. Let's show you all my mistakes. Uh, this was the first one. It was way too light. I feel, feel, I felt it was uh, lacking contrast also. So what I thought was a contrast two filter. I have no idea how they got mixed up. Along with it being blurry because I left the focus paper under there. This was a contrast uh, double zero uh, I don't even think I've ever used that one yet so I have no idea how it got in the contrast 2 filter uh, 
Then I did this one with the contrast too. I'm way too late. Uh, this was all the way at 25 seconds. So what I did with this one is I started 25 seconds and then five second increments after that. Uh, why you can't see the lines, I have no clue. But I'm liking the end one. So I'm going to go for a full print at uh, 45 seconds on contrast 2. And we'll see what we get. All right, let's print her up. Forty-five seconds. Hey, let's put her in a developer. Okay, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, blacks are looking pretty good there. Uh, nice tones throughout. Highlights still got still got definition in the highlights. Uh, sun was shining through the trees on that section. Same with that little piece of track right there. Uh, all in all. I am happy with that one. Looks good. All right. Stay tuned for uh, part two uh, next week. And I'm not going to tell you what I shot. So you'll have to wait. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Hit the subscribe button, the little like bell. And uh, hope to see you next week. Thanks. Catch you later.